Hello everybody. Well, it's been about 40 years since I went backpack camping. Uh, that was when I was 18 and just finishing up with the Boy Scouts. For some reason, uh, I've been bitten by the bug again and I've been wanting to uh, get back into it. So I wanted to find a place where I could sort of get my feet wet after all these years and I found Lake Mariah State Park in Minnesota. That's how it's pronounced. It's about an hour away from the Twin Cities. It has a lot of hiking trails and it has some nice secluded backpacking uh, campsites. So I thought this would be a good place to start. The park preserves what's known as the Big Woods section of southeastern Minnesota. Uh, old forests of hardwoods, uh, maple, oak, and basswood that create a beautiful tree canopy over a lot of the trail. Well, let's do the walk to my campsite. Instead of a shaky Blair Witch video style, I'll do it like a slideshow. The trails are really well marked, which I greatly appreciated. Uh, I got to this juncture and the sign is telling me I need to turn right towards the Bjorkland Lake Trail to get to my campsite. So a little more walking through shade and sun. Uh, it's about a half a mile walk from the trail center to my campsite, which was B11. I like this one. It's secluded in the woods. It's about 75 to 100 yards off of the trail. Well, I'll show you what the campsites offer. Uh, each one comes with a box to uh, store your food to keep it away from the raccoons. The latch on mine was broken, so I used that big rock on the ground to the right to keep it closed. Uh, you get a fireplace and a grill, a nice picnic table, and there are nearby latrines. Uh, mine was shared with two other campsites. Uh, bring your own toilet paper, they don't provide it. This is my first time hammock camping. Uh, I used to camp in tents and never slept well on air mattresses on the ground, but I heard good things about sleeping in hammocks. Uh, I started to look into it. My wife took me seriously and bought me a, a hammock set for my birthday. This is my first attempt at using it. Uh, here's the hammock set up between two trees at the campsite, followed up with the bug net. This is really indispensable at Lake Mariah State Park. There were a lot of mosquitoes. And then I followed it up with the rain fly. And here's what my campsite looks like now that I'm all set up. Since the point of this trip was to see if I actually enjoyed backpack camping, I didn't spend a lot of money on new gear. I used this Rick Steves suitcase, which folds out with uh, shoulder straps and a belt. That becomes a backpack. I've had this for years. Um, I didn't buy a small portable gas stove, but instead decided to make a camping stove out of two tin cans. There are several videos on how to do this on YouTube, and I thought it would be kind of fun, and it actually was. You drill a bunch of holes, you cut one can, put it in the other can, fill it with sticks and a fire starter, and away it goes, concentrated heat under your pot. That's a, a cylinder of hardware cloth that the pot is sitting on. I did spend a little money on freeze-dried foods, or dehydrated foods like this breakfast skillet. When I first opened it up, I was a little dubious about how it looked. Really, that's a breakfast skillet? But after boiling water, pouring it in the pouch, and sealing it for eight minutes, it comes out looking and tasting like a breakfast skillet. And I had water left over for coffee. Even though I was using these silly little Taster's Choice packets, they really hit the spot and made me very happy at breakfast time coffee. Uh, one little uh, tip I learned from Boy Scouts years ago is to slather your pot with dish detergent to prevent it from being coated with soot from the fire. It wipes off easily. I tried a beef stroganoff with noodles for dinner. I might have put in just a little too much water in this one, but this meal was pretty good too. One of my favorite parts of camping, probably like everybody else, is having a campfire at night. You can buy wood at the ranger station, but you're faced with the prospect of hauling a bundle of firewood a half a mile or more to your campsite. You are allowed to gather uh, fallen dead wood uh, if you're backpacking, so I chose to do that. During the night time, I didn't capture it on these uh, little pieces of film, but I heard several animal sounds, different kinds of owls, honking trumpeter swans, which was amazing, and some animal sounds I wasn't sure I could identify. I think they were squirrels, but they sounded like Kodiak bears.
Well, take on a tour of some parts of the park. Uh, Bjorkland Lake was just down the trail from my campsite. Uh, there are several lakes in the park, including the very large Lake Mariah itself. Bjorkland Lake is smaller, but it's pretty and serene, and I'm pretty sure it's where the trumpeter swans were that made that amazing honking sound the night before. Of course, one of the big features of the park is its hiking trails. There are several in uh, a loop that uh, you can walk around. Um, I probably walked around all of them, and maybe that was too many if the soreness in my legs is any indication. Here's just a montage of photos of trails in the forest that I walked through. The trails are shared by equestrians, so you may come upon horses and riders, uh, which also means you may come upon horse droppings on the trail, so it's a good idea to keep your eyes on the trail. But there are more pleasant things down by your feet <laughs> to look at. This monarch butterfly hung around just long enough for me to take its picture. A few more scenes of the natural beauty of the Lake Mariah State Park area. I like this one because of the sun and shadow. I thought it was going to start raining when I saw these clouds develop, but I got lucky and I had a rain-free weekend from Friday afternoon to Sunday morning. Well, all in all, my first backpack camping adventure in 40 years went really well at Lake Mariah State Park. I had a good time and I would definitely do it again. Uh, in fact, I'd love to come back here in the fall because I'm sure it must be really beautiful as all those deciduous trees change color. Well, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.